Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So about three weeks ago, I posted a video where I showed you how you could enable the new Windows 11 appearance settings in the stable version of the Edge web browser for desktop. Now, these were the two settings, which are not standard default settings in Edge and had to be enabled using this flag, show experimental appearance settings. And once that flag was applied, would add the two settings. And if you decided to toggle them on, and firstly, you could then show Windows 11 visual effects in the title bar and toolbar, which added the marker effect to the title bar and toolbar. And the second setting um, says use rounded corners for browser tabs, which added the fluent rounded corners to the tabs and gave the tabs a floating appearance in the browser. And I will leave a link to that previous video down below in case that would be of interest to you, as it will give you a little bit more information. And my reason for mentioning the uh, previous video and that um, experimental flag is because once again uh, in the latest stable version of the Edge web browser version 103 which as many of you know rolled out last week we now have another option to add some more Windows 11 appearance um, aspects uh, to the stable version of the Edge web browser on desktop where you can now um, use the Windows 11 acrylic effect in the menus now so once again this is not a default option and setting we have to use an experimental flag so to do this um, to get the acrylic effect to um, be enabled in the menus um, just head to your address bar into edge colon forward slash forward slash flags and in the search I'm just going to paste the flag in but you just enter enable Windows 11 acrylic effect in menus and the description says enables support for the acrylic effect in menus if it is available on the system requires Windows 11 or later so um, just um, be aware that um, this will not work on Windows 10 and it's exactly the same as this setting which also won't work on Windows 10 because marker and acrylic are not available over on Windows 10 and then you, as always we change the, the default setting to enabled restart uh, the stable version of Microsoft Edge to apply that flag and now if we just head back let's just go to our new tab page we now have an acrylic effect which is basically a transparent effect that is added uh, to the menus and I don't know if you can pick it up in the video but you can see a bit of the uh, wallpaper background in that menu and if I go to my three dotted menu it picks up the same it just gives it a bit of a translucent effect picking up a little bit of the background now in case you were unaware um, first of all um, for this f the, the acrylic effect in the menus to be seen this flag has to be enabled first and then according to Microsoft uh, the difference between um, the uh, a marker and the acrylic effect is basically and this is Microsoft's definition they say that marker, marker is an opaque dynamic material that incorporates the theme and desktop wallpaper to paint the background of long-lived windows such as apps and settings so as an example um, if I head to my uh, desktop yeah we can see there's quite a lot of blue in the image so that um, opaque effect is picked up um, I don't know if you can see it in the video but uh, that opaque is uh, that opaque effect is picked up in the title bar and toolbar and it's a kind of a blue tinge that's been added uh, which is called that marker effect and by the way this works a lot better uh, if you are using the light theme as opposed to a dark theme and you can just see it a lot better when it's light and you need to have your default theme enabled and then according to Microsoft um, the acrylic effect is slightly different and not to be confused with marker um, acrylic is a fluent design according to uh, Microsoft it's a design system component that adds physical texture like a material um, as an example and depth to your app so that's Microsoft's definition and also the difference between marker and um, uh, acrylic is marker is not transparent so it just adds an, an opaque color uh, where as mentioned the acrylic effect gives a more transparent and a more translucent effect to the menus where as mentioned that is not available with marker marker is an opaque a, a color and effect where um, the um, acrylic effect makes things a little bit more translucent and see-through so to speak so that's the difference and now uh, if you enable those two flags as mentioned you will get um, these two settings enabled now and over and above that now uh, you get that Acrylic, acrylic effect now that's also been made available in the stable version which now just adds a couple of more aspects from the Windows 11 design and theme now 
in the Edge web browser for desktop. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.